gosh, it's been a while. But anywho, I just wanted to film a quick video um, on my setup in my Pocket Speckled Fawns notebook, Traveler's Notebook. I got this last month, um, April. I got it in the beginning of April. Um, I've been in a Pocket Traveler's Notebook for a while and you know how it is you start watching youtube videos and reviews on notebooks and then all of a sudden you decide that you're going to buy another one even though you have a zillion pocket notebooks you decide that you just need to have another one and i'm so glad that i decided to get this notebook because this is hands down my most favorite traveler's notebook leather ever well, in pocket size, because it is a little thick, and I think the thickness would be a little much for me in any other size. So, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the leather, show you the setup that I have going on in here, and yeah, so here we go. So, this is a rustic Kodiak leather from Speckled Fawns, which he can be found on Etsy. Um, it has... Uh, brown stitching and I got this idea from Amity Bloom, Miss Nazareth, Nazareth uh, Cardiel. I know probably tons of you watch her videos because she is so awesome um, and my whole setup is actually inspired by her but um, I saw her review of her speckled fawns notebook and that's what made me decide to go get one. Um, I got the I don't know what this is called but the pocket where it's not a straight edge, it's just like naturally cut, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Um, my advice when ordering a speckled fawns is know what size you absolutely love and are going to stick with because speckled fawns takes, unfortunately, a long time to um, get the notebook to you. I think I had ordered this and it took anywhere from a month to a month and a half to get this notebook um, but I knew I loved pocket and I was going to stick with it so that's why I decided to order it um, and so once I got it I was able to move everything in without any uh, problems and was able to stick with it because I know that a lot of people that get a speckled fawns they are like oh yeah I, I, I love the b6 slim I'm gonna order a b6 slim and you know how us planners girls are we get interested in other sizes and before you know it you get your speckled fawns and you're not in a b6 sum anymore because you decided that you wanted to move to a pocket so my advice is know what um size you really really like and will love and before you start ordering from speckled fawns because the the leather especially this rustic kodiak one is absolutely amazing and totally worth the wait but you want to make sure that you're ordering a size that you're going to use when it arrives. So, um, the leather is very soft and there are lots of reviews on the Rustic Kodiak, so I won't do too much on that, but I love how it just scratches. Um, and they're actually, the scratches are kind of easy to rub out. Well, these ones are kind of deeper, so. But anyway, I love that kind of rustic look hence the name Rustic Kodiak. It does have a one inch spine. Um, you can get other spine options, I think up to two inches, which adds more elastics in it, but um, I just needed a one inch spine in the four elastics. So yeah, so let's begin with the charm I have on here. I found this at a antique store. Um, you'll see that the whole entire notebook is vintage inspired and antique expired. So I went with a vintage charm and this is true vintage. I got it at an estate sale, like the antique shop that they have, they buy out full estates. And so I got this charm, it is so pretty. And by the way, this is a new camera that I've never used before. So I'm not really sure if that's gonna focus well. Maybe it is, I don't know. I still need to learn how to use this thing. All right, so on the inside here, um, I found this printable um, for a mason jar, and I just 
traced it on, oh, actually I printed it out and cut this out. And so this is really cute. And then this came with my package from Kate, when Katie met Soda on Etsy. Some of you probably know who that is. She's a jewelry designer, um, but I'll get more into her in a little bit. And I like to keep this pretty empty because this is a very uh, floppy and uh, malle ma malleable, is that the word? Um, leather, so if you were to stick too much in here, the, it would probably create an outline here, and I didn't want to do that on the front. So I typically will keep these here with my Kate Spade bow clip. I made this dashboard out of uh, some beautiful vintage scrapbook paper. Made this interior, just laminated. You, you guys know how to make dashboards. Um, this is a die cut, choose to be happy. And then this is my monthly. I got really into sewing. Um, so you'll see that I stitched this up here, put some lace. Um, and this is my monthly insert. So using one of the many um, insert tutorials, I just printed out the Growing Up Goddess monthly insert, chose a scrapbook paper, and then sewed it together. And yeah, so the way the Growing Up Goddess inserts work is it'll have the month, and then it'll have um, two grid pages after the month. So um, basically what I've done is use the monthly pages. Um, you'll see two of these thin color washi tapes. So the green signifies when I'm going to be out of town for work or traveling for fun. And then here, like here, um, I have an interesting job, so I'm not going to go into it further, but um, if I'm going to be working in Chicago, where I live, um, I'll mark out those dates using uh, this kind of reddish pinkish washi tape. So, yep. And then in between, I put my habit tracker. Um, yeah, so. And that's that. Monthly monthlies. I do embellish with some stickers, like my little Momoe stickers. I love Momoe. Um, and then washi tape, checker. And then we got to May and I actually got to May and decided that I wanted to move into a Gilio just for a change. I'll go into that in just a second. But um, got to May and that's the end of my monthly. I left all the rest blank. So back at the dashboard. Now I created this dashboard and oh my gosh, guys, I was so proud of myself because this dashboard right here, um, I liked having it at, at, at a smaller size and I didn't laminate it. I just kept it because I like uh, the, the actual feeling of the paper. I put, I love collecting stamps. I put some vintage inspired stamps, some extra paper, but this is the really cool part. I used this Martha Stewart hole punch. Um, and hole punched this edge right here and then cut out some of this burlap ribbon that I got from uh, some some craft store and what I did was I sewed it onto here with just literally a needle and thread using the holes from the hole punch and then when you open it up, it's an actual pocket. So how cute is that? And in here, I just have, again, totally inspired by Amity Bloom, uh, Miss Nazzy. I, you know, printed out some pictures of fairies and I don't know, because I love fairies and I think they're cool. And then on the back of this, I just um, used typewriter font on my computer and printed out this uh, poem that I really like. Um, and this is a printable from, I think it's called the Booksmith Shop. I'll be sure to link down everything that I mentioned in here. And that just goes in here. And then this is my bullet journal. I just took a field notes notebook and um, covered up with some pretty scrapbook paper, used that same hole punch, created a pocket. So these fit in here, another fairy, and then this thing from Miss Nazzy. Um, I had ordered something from her and um, this card came in there. I just like what it said. May your day be filled with peace and love. 
And then um, another pocket in here. And on the back of this card, I put, you know, like some of my goals for 2017 on here, just so I always have it. And this is my bullet journal, just using this grid paper. I literally just draw out a week, put out the week so I can have a place to just see everything at the, in a glance that I have going on or need to get done. And then I just bullet journal. Um, I've shown this to you before. This is the system that works best for me when I'm in um, my traveler's notebooks. I've tried to do, you know, different printables and stuff and it just never worked for me. Um, yeah, so just bullet journal, bullet journal. And I was really loving this because I did this for quite a while. Um, and then I made one of these. This is my little bookmarker with a little pocket. Um, and then this is was my April goals. Now I found this typewriter also at an antique store. I got this uh, Smith Corona typewriter for like 38 bucks. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then I started typing on this like pretty parchment paper that I found um, to write down, type down goals at the beginning of the month which I thought is pretty cool. Alrighty. So yeah, um, it was already the beginning of May, so I just decided to um, not finish through this because I wanted to move into a Giglio. Little uh, cute little paper clip. I got these paper clips from Hobby Lobby. The back of that dashboard. Now um, I got my pen gem, my favorite my favorite pen. Um, I use the 0.5 hybrid gel and ballpoint um, ink that I love. Oops. And then this folder is a four pocket folder from Adore Planning, I believe, on Etsy. And I don't keep anything in the front. Um, this is another insert. This is a printable from Annie Plants Printables. I just made the lists one and I just have like random lists on here but again um, you guys have probably seen this before um, now this is attached to this one on that uh, elastic there um, and again I sewed the uh, insert together I have my pencil board from Taroko design on Amazon I just keep some note paper and that's the back of that. Now this is my pride and joy, my most, uh, I, I like couldn't believe that I made this myself, honestly. Um, I'll go into more detail after I go through the whole flip through, but it's a junk journal, a vintage one that I, I created all on my own. And um, I'll do a quick flip through of that in just a second. So that's on my third insert. Look how chunky it is. And then this is my um, last insert. It's just a notes insert, but this is a dashboard from um, Amity Bloom. And then I have this here. So I carry my pen gem. And then on here, I also carry a four barrel Coletto. Um, took another field notes insert and then just covered it with some scrapbook paper and some different images. And then it's just literally notes. Like, yeah, that's it and in the back there's this really cool three pocket configuration um i usually carry receipts or something in here and then my extra uh, ink for my pen gem and then yeah that's it that's it's pretty s simple i'm, I'm kind of simple when it comes to my inserts and such um, inside of Travel's Notebook because it does get pretty fat. But um, yeah, so now I'm gonna do a quick flip through of my junk journal. Hold on, wait, if I can find. It's so fat, I can't find the center. What? Oh, huh, <laughs> okay. It's because I had put these together. Give me one second. All right, so we're gonna move this beauty out of the way. Okay, so I made this junk journal. I tea dyed paper. Woo! I had tea dyed some paper um, and scrapbook paper, ledger paper, lined paper, uh, copy paper, and just sewed it all together and um, 
yeah so you'll see this is really cool it's got a whole bunch of different embellishments in it but alrighty so just like Nazareth this just little um, text spot or whatever you want to call that um, tip ins I like creating little tags here um, I found some vintage buttons at a store and I just literally put that in here um, here okay so um, I, I'm sure you guys know Katie from when Katie met Soda. Um, she makes beautiful jewelry, and I ordered this very popular ring in the planner community, the um, precious, no, little moon ring, the little moon ring, and I just saw this quote, and I, I really liked it. It's, the moon teaches us that darkness can hide the beauty of life if we know how to reflect beauty. I love that, and so I just wrote about it in this little pocket, kept her card, and look, I like how the photo keeps the little moon out, so you can see the two moons, um, one my ring and an actual image of the moon. And then, yeah, I, sorry, I had to like put post-it notes because some things are really private. Um, I like making little clusters, picture of my little, my little doggy Murphy. Um, some lace, some fabric. I kept these put together. Um, I like creating little tabs with fabric as well, which is really cool. Um, I got one of those Dymo label makers to do that. I just cut out images. That, another um, pocket. Um, this is actually a vintage postcard that I found, um, and I cut out the image and put it on this paper. I like to use stencils and that um, Distress Stain ink to make uh, things like that. Oh, this is my favorite page. So what I did was I sewed on this beautiful vellum that I got from Adore Planning, um, and photo of this, and then using my typewriter, I typed out some a journal entry. And put a tab on it so it goes into this cute little pocket oh. and then here just this got a little crazy this like just I don't know um here I put a pocket here um and then this is one of my favorite pages I f flip it out oh let's do it again ooh. 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 So cute. Um, and then this. So I just, I, I got typewriter happy. So I typed the next pages. Look at this. So cute. Pocket in the back. With the lace. Pocket in the front. Use my sewing machine here. So cute. Um, I sew in buttons every once in a while. Oops. And yeah, and oh, and then I made a, like a little booklet, sewed it together, used um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink to distress the paper, and yeah, and then that's pretty much it that I have spilled so far, and then tons of other pages, that ledger paper, books, that kind of stuff to um, journal on. So yeah, um, completely inspired by Miss Amity Bloom, I'll link her channel down below. I'm sure you guys already know her, but if you don't, you're totally missing out because she's amazing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much for much all there is with my setup and my junk journal. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I'm thinking of selling some junk journals, some vintage inspired junk journals. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested. Um, I'm thinking of doing like pocket and um, standard size because those are the sizes I use and um, yeah, so let me know if you'd be interested in that because I had so much fun making this that I think it'd be cool to make some for you guys to to use as well. So there's that. And then here's my Giglio that I am in. I love just changing out um, planners. Sometimes I want to do rings. Sometimes I want to do strings. I'll do a, a flip through of this very soon. I just want to make sure that I, I'm really liking the system that I'm using before I decide to put up a video. Um, but this is uh, my Giglio and I'm using it right now so yeah that's it guys 
I'm glad to be back. I'll be posting a video of the Giglio very soon. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, yeah, so bye-bye.